And um, Bitcoin, on the other hand, <clears throat> Bitcoin's backed by nearly 300 exahash of hash power. And it's backed by 10.6 gigawatts of energy. Now, I say those words, but people don't even, it doesn't register with them what those words mean. So let me say it a different way. The United States Navy has 53 Virginia-class attack submarines that have 30 megawatts each. It has 14 Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines that have about 45 megawatts of power each. It has 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers with about 195 megawatts of power each from their nuclear reactors. It's got 17 cruisers that run about 60 megawatts each and 62 destroyers that have something like 30 megawatts each. When you add it all up, right, that, you know, the entire Navy, the nuclear Navy, it's running like four and a half gigawatts, 4.3 gigawatts of power. Okay. So the Bitcoin network, you know, we, we used to say that the U.S. dollar is backed by the strength of the U.S. Navy, by the power of the Navy. Well, it is. And now you know what the Navy is. The Navy isn't 10 gigawatts. <clears throat> Bitcoin is 10.6 gigawatts. It's like double the energy that powers the entire U.S. Navy. Uh, another way to think of it is a, as a full on nuclear power plant might generate a gigawatt, a massive one. It's like 10 and a half full on nuclear power plants running all out. But it's better because it's distributed everywhere in the grid and you can't identify where that energy it's more distributed than the navy it's more distributed than the nuclear power plants you can't stop it and when you combine that which is which is a wall of energy with another idea which is 300 exahash and and that's computing power that exahash is driven by silicon a6 that have when we last checked it it's 2,200 times the computational advantage of general purpose computers. So it's a 2,200 to X machine or silicon ratchet that's running. And what does that mean? Well, that means that how much computing power do I need to catch up with the Bitcoin network? And the answer is all of it. <laughs> all like how much computer power? All of it, right? If you took all of the computing power of Microsoft and Azure and AWS and Google and Facebook and everything, all of it, you're still not catching up, right? So what we've established is, by, by the way, how, how, how much Navy do you need to catch up with Bitcoin? All of it. All the navies in the world maybe you're starting to approach the power of Bitcoin and then all of the computing power of the world isn't 10% of the power of Bitcoin, wouldn't dent it. And then when you look at the cryptos, you know, that, uh, that attempt to compete, you've got a handful of proof of stake networks. And the last time we calculated, we, you know, we calculated, said, well, if Bitcoin is Mount Fuji, this next one is like a grain of rice. And the other one is like a housefly. Like you might, you know, the biggest proof of work network other than Bitcoin, and it might be a, a toaster compared to Mount Fuji. And, and that's the good ones, right? That's the, the few dozen that, <clears throat> the dozen that might actually have something backing them. And then when you go to the air tokens, the proof of stake tokens, what are they backed by? They're backed by three people, if you're lucky, eight people, right? Two people. FTX was, and SRM and SRM and FTT was backed by one person, one person's whim. And, and so this is going to be <clears throat> such a teachable moment, right? So vivid when people say, you know, what is what is uh, responsible? Well, 
I want all the computer power in the world and all of the energy that the U.S. Navy could muster. And I want it to be distributed across millions of nodes to defend my money. That's what Bitcoin is. And what is the rest of crypto? The rest of crypto is what Sam Bankman-Fried was and 